Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use camera to zoom in, zoom out or change the target of the camera that camera follow that target, right? So I want to show you the best way, the easiest way to do that. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from the last video, we had this at the end of those videos. We had this platformer in here with these tile sets that we use and everything is, you as you can see it, everything is self-explanatory and it's readable and it is easy to develop and it's modular and you can use it in any project that you have, right? Just with 22 line of code in your step function and some declaration like 21 line of code for declaration you have this player and all of this code till now it's readable right so i want to show you how you can do camera to be readable as well so there is some way to create your camera zoom in zoom out and change your target first way to do it you can let's just maximize this property for our room and in here go to viewport and in here you want to enable the viewport clear viewport background and select one of these viewports i want to use viewports number zero i want to make it visible so you can see it here it's this white border that we have here and um, the width and height of our um, camera is here the position of our camera is in here and we can access it in runtime right so first of all let's just change the width and height of our camera okay but before before doing that let's just run our game to see what will happen to now and you can see it's not zooming at all you can see the player correctly right so we should be able to zoom in so how we can do that we can just changing this width and height of our camera so it will zoom in okay so for that let's just bring up our calculator in here and i want to say this value divided by two is this so let's just change it to this and okay so for the height let's just do that for the height i just want to show you after that i want to show you i will show you how you can do it in runtime divided by two is this value Control c to copy it and let's just paste it in here so with that we are zoomed in in our room but before moving on let's just select a object to or camera to follow of course we can do all of these by writing codes create camera create matrices create uh, orthographic camera we can do all of that but game maker do it for us i will show you that way as well but game maker do all of those in background for you as best as possible it will be more reward to do it this way so let's just select an object in here in runtime we can change this right now i use i use obg player that or player in here to follow so let's just run it to see what will happen and you can see now we are zoomed okay so maybe you want to have it like this so this level of zooming maybe it's good for you in many cases it is good for you and you don't need to change zooming and now zooming in runtime right but let me explain some other things in here another things that i want to talk about is this view property and this view property should be um, the value that is multiplied by the width and height of our camera so it won't stretch right so for example if i change this value to let's say 900 let's see what will happen and you can see everything is stretched and it's not looking cool and you can see it right i hope you can see it clearly let's change this to another value so we really messed up and you can see it's stretched to fill that um uh, camera okay so the first tip is that the width and height of our camera should be a, a value multiplied or divided by the value of the width and height of our viewport, okay? 
so let's just use ctrl z to go back to that level so it's the width and height of our camera is is half of the width and height of our viewport and all the x positions and y positions will be changed for us in runtime with just selecting the object that we want to follow right so with selecting this game maker do everything for us so let's just run it again to show you something else you can see when we go to the right when we reach a threshold in here the camera moves with us you can see it here okay so we can have that we can increase that value with just this property in here so if i put the value like 200 in here for the horizontal border and vertical border for 200 this way 200 left at the right it will follow the player and you can see the player can't go further than this to the side of the camera to the border of the camera you can see it here so with changing that we are doing and you can see it for the vertical and horizontal it will follow our character right so the next property is vertical um, horizontal speed and vertical speed it's self-explanatory and this was all that i want to talk about about cameras in most cases this is this will work for you and this is all you need but in some cases that you want to uh, create a lot of cool effect you want to zoom in zoom out for um let's say you have a game that there is a sniper in it uh, or you have a game that there is a puzzle to it and you want the player to be able to zoom in and zoom out right so because in most cases this video is enough for you i don't want to bore you with more stuff in this video in the next video i will show you how you can change the targets in here and how you can change the zooming level in runtime so please hit that subscribe button and if you want to help me hit that like button but before we end this video i want to thank some of my friends on youtube uh, my best friend uh daitron san uh, he helped me a lot in my youtube journey and i want to thank him for commenting in every each one of my videos he really want to help me please man if you if you need any help please um i give you my whatsapp number my discord id and i i, I try my best to help you i know you are the best thank you very much for watching bye